So the last video on this channel was going over a former Vancouver Canuck in Bo Horvat. Well, today we're making a video about yet another Vancouver Canuck of the past, that in which, I'm not gonna lie, I never thought I'd be making any more videos about this dude, but things have been crazier before. Let's head over to the player taken one year after Bo Horvat at 9th overall in the 6th overall spot instead. The Vancouver Canucks in 2014 almost traded up to 1st overall to grab Sam Reinhardt because new GM Jim Benning was kind of forced to take a hometown guy. Instead, because the Canucks could not get that trade done, they stuck around in the 6th overall spot and, with their pick, they selected hometown boy Jake Vertanen. That happened a decade ago, and it's kind of weird saying a decade ago because it's literally been almost a decade. But when it comes to Jake Vertanen, we have ourselves a very strange update coming out of the second tier Swiss League. This is, as we have said earlier, the first time we have talked about Jake Vertanen in a while. And the last time we went over him, we talked about how the former Vancouver Canuck went over to Russia, he played in the KHL after getting bought out by the Canucks, had 16 points in 36 games played, was not super amazing, but then his contract was voided because he left Russia after the war. He then went over to the Edmonton Oilers, played on a PTO over there. A lot of Oilers fans were oddly excited for him. Like, I don't know, I get getting hyped for a player who has shown promise in the past, but... Vertanen was so bad towards the tail end of his Vancouver Canucks career that I never understood why so many Oilers fans were going out there and wanting to give this guy the huge benefit of the doubt on his playing career and talent profile. But I digress. He played with the Oilers on a PTO. He wasn't good. He got released from the PTO and he went over to the second tier Swiss League. This season, playing for EHC Visp, Vertanen has himself 25 points in 21 games played, 14 goals, 11 assists. Now, admittedly, I'm not watching too many second tier Swiss League games, so one could only infer, based off of the numbers, that Vertanen is doing what Vertanen has pretty much done. For most of his NHL career, he's just kind of skating out there, he's able to take the puck in deep, force it into the corners, and that's pretty much it. He's a player with a really strong snapshot, but the problem was at the NHL level, you couldn't really see him pull it off all too much because, firstly, his offensive awareness was just so poor at the top league in the world, and then you had yourselves the lack of real play-driving ability that Vertanen possessed. So, after years of Vancouver Canucks fans giving Vertanen the chance, it appears that now he's found himself a home in the second-tier Swiss League where he's able to actually dominate and score points in the ways that a lot of Canucks fans and Oilers fans hoped he'd be able to for their respective hockey teams. Well, we had ourselves an article coming out on lematin.ch talking about how Vertanen's season has gone, and Quite frankly, it's not pretty, because if you go over to this article and you translate it from French into English, published on February 7th, 2023, take a look at this. In Visp, the hockey team that he plays for, Vertanen has been alienated by his teammates. The Swiss League star player failed to fit in the dressing room and got into a fight with a teammate during a match at Le Chaux de Fonds. He is on the trade market now. Written by Emmanuel Favre. Now, because of the way this article is formatted, it's in French and we just translated it to English via Google, I feel pretty comfortable going out there and just reading it straight up. Jake Vertanen, 26 years old, has failed to restore his tarnished image in North America since arriving in Visp on November 2022. First round pick of the Canucks in the 2014 draft, the Canadian was dismissed by the North American Professional League after facing charges of SA, a case of which he was cleared by the Supreme Court of BC in July 2022. Within the Upper Valley Swiss League Club, it was his selfish attitude that irritated his teammates and forced his leaders to make him available on the trade market. According to several of our sources, Vertanen has the profile of a gifted player for whom his production is more important than that of his club. For him, the back of the jersey, the name, has more value than the front of the jersey, the logo, says somebody who has seen him at work many times. In 21 games played, he's got 25 goals, or 14 goals, excuse me, but 25 points, but he has difficulty giving up his place after 120 of presence on the power play. 
summarizes a hockey player in the game category. Now, that sentence is strange, but what I'm assuming it means is that Vertanen doesn't go off after the power play starts. Like, I'd assume he's probably in the first unit, but after one minute and 20 seconds of playing on the power play, he refuses to leave? Like... Okay, that's very odd, but to be honest, for a guy like Vertanen who has never really seen significant power play time in his career ever, I can understand him wanting to stick around, but of course, you know, not leaving when the coach is telling you to leave. Sticking around for 120 is pretty excessive, if I do say so myself. There was also a clash in the middle of a game. The clash, most likely irreparable, occurred on January 31st, shortly before the end of a regular season 5-1 loss against Le Chal de Fonds, with a few minutes left to go from the end of the game, when the head coach of the Upper Valley Club, Marco Schubach, had nailed him to the bench, so he benched Vertanen. Vertanen had a verbal and muscular altercation with a teammate, Daniel Eigenmann, 31 years old. The Zurich defender then contacted the sports management of the team, which ended the regular portion of the calendar in fourth place with a harvest of 72 points in 45 games. The summary of Agenman's remarks reported by two sources was that it's either him or us. Since then, Vertanen has not been summoned by the coaches, and this, mere coincidence, won their last two games. The management of the Lonzo Arena Lions does not wish to comment on these facts. However, she confirms that Jake Vertanen is on the market. Visp will play Act 1 of the Swiss League quarterfinal against Thurgau on February 14th, one day before the transfer window closes. And so, with this article, it's a very apparent that there was some sort of a physical altercation between Jake Vertanen and one of his teammates, and it was so bad to the point that a lot of the team, who have already apparently soured on the guy, had said to the management, it's either him or us, and they decided to go with the rest of the team. There also happened to be yet another French, or not necessarily French, I mean, it's in the French language, but it's a Swiss hockey news article on lenouvelis.com. Hockey. Jake Vertanen was kicked out of HC Visp for his misbehavior. The club is trying to find a new employer for its Canadian Finnish player. He should then start looking for a fifth foreigner this season. I think they're talking about the team. They should be looking for another foreigner to play for their squad. And this article says that According to their own sources, the former NHL player, Vertanen, was suspended by his leaders for his behavioral deviations and his attitude towards the team. Despite his 25 points in 21 games played, Vertanen has not shown until then an irreproachable commitment on the ice, nor an exceptional motivation for the Swiss League in general. The player who has a contract until the end of next season, since he should have formed a promising duo with Gary Nunn, is about to be released by the team. If necessary, the club would still have a few days to find a fifth foreigner this winter. So, uh, yeah, for anybody going out there looking for updates on Jake Furtanen, of all people, after seeing his PTO with the Oilers not really go all too well, there's your update. The guy has been producing points, but apparently he doesn't really care too much about the team. Or at least according to what these articles are saying, that's what the apparent headline seems to be at this point. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Vertanen and the... Situation in Switzerland, I guess. You gotta remember, this isn't even like the regular Swiss league. This is the second tier league. These are the guys that if they play well enough, they could get promoted to the top Swiss league. But, I mean, they've suspended one of the top guys on the team. So, interesting to see how that's going to happen. But, we'll see where things go over the next few days if Rattanen does get traded in the midst of this Swiss League or whatever, but thoughts in the comment section below. Either way, what are your opinions about this Vertanen thing going down? I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.